painting fruit trees. The how and the why. Um, it's been argued for a while between gardeners, discussed heavily. Is it for reflecting the sunshine or is it to keep bugs off? Now, definitely bugs don't like to go through paint, but it's not an absolute deterrent. So I looked this up and I went to the UC Davis website and they did an extensive study because evidently people on all sides have questioned this. So I'll make this quick. What they came up with was, you're both right. Primarily, it is for sun block and it's the same reason as us, that's their skin and when they're exposed to really hot sun um, they can get burnt, blister, and it's a wound which then part two of the other person is right those wounds, fresh cuts from your shears, uh, sunburns, any scar in the tissue is an easy spot for the beetles and things that feed on trees to move into so um, basically both parts are correct and uh, I use it, you know, I prune, I use black pruning tar on the, on the tops of all my cuts because they say those look like little bullseyes to all the insects with their ultraviolet vision so they just light up every fresh cut. But you also get a lot of wounds and you got to watch the spots where there's a lot of where they have grafted trees when you buy grafted trees because it's like knuckling over for a lot of years. And um, so that's the base of it is that and remember it follows the rule whenever you're pruning a tree say you get to an orchard and it's all overgrown you never take off more than one third of the vegetation a year so and that's for the same reason if you let in too much sunlight the tissue its skin and bark same thing isn't used to that much light and it can get scorched and that's the vessels that it uses to pump all of its fluids up and down so it's a really big deal plus any wound is where insects get into it the easiest so um, you'll see me I'm going through and doing this orchard these are just getting the full maturity so we did them once really low but now I'm going through and I'm doing the whole things and it's a hundred degrees right now I don't have a thermometer in hand but I'm not lying we have heat warnings all that that's why I'm That's why I'm trying to hang out in the shade and paint this puppy, these puppies, these things. You can see I go pretty far up and it's also my marker for like the veg line where I'm going to keep it pruned next year. And the sun beaming in on this because if we take out the interior growth and we do our pruning, it, it can get intense, it can scorch them. So this is like putting sun, white sun, not just sun block, but white paint on your nose if you know it's going to be extreme. So this year because they're big I'm going all the way up and you don't have to do it that far you could choose the main exposed parts but um, we're trying to be really thorough about it so starting this one I do I start from one side and I do all the half of everything that I can see and I go from the other side and then a little touch up but here's where it where was a branch this is the black tar that I put on here this is where there was open wounds and we have beetles really bad up here. The pine beetles go right from the pine trees into our fruit trees and wipe them out just like that. So, um, frost. Here's one unpainted, so I've gone through the whole thing and put tar on there. It's organic. It's just a creosote that bugs don't like. They won't go through it. Put that on all the wounds. When you prune them, do the same thing to the ends. And then we are going to paint them. So you can use what you do use is latex paint. So it's just exterior flat latex house paint is what I'm using. Um, and I'm using it 50-50, not even all the way to whitewash where it's way thinner. If you don't understand all that, I'm putting half of this will be paint and then the other half of this will be water. So 50% paint, 50% water. Um, half water half paint you can go a little bit thinner but you'll have to paint it more often and you can go all the way thick if you want to you know if you have some gnarled up old uh, apple tree and you need to really go off on it but making it thin the point of making a whitewash is that it spreads easier so um, about half and half and yeah just grab 
you know, old paints. And you can you can use, uh, if you don't like white, I think it's an actually old-fashioned, really nice look. Your eyes get used to it instantly. But if you don't like white, I've seen people mix in light little tints to it. You go light green, you go light pink, anything you wanted. As long as it's still reflecting light as well as it would, almost as well as it would, if you understand that. I'm trying to stick with really light colors because that's what reflects the light. So... You could probably do lemon yellow and maybe get the same thing. Look it up. Everything reflects light differently. Okay. So, just wanted to say that. That's the information I got. There was no pictures in the paper on the website from Davis, but that's after 10 weeks or 10 years or 10 months or whatever they did and then 10 pages. That's what they came up with was uh, paint it to help block the sun and help keep it cool, its vascular system cool and stuff, and then uh, also it'll help it from getting wounds from the sun, which is where bugs get through. So yes, it does help repel bugs. And I have an overall belief um, in the other side of that argument too, that bugs just hate going through paint as opposed to bare skin. Right on, let's see at some other point.